Okay, this is a YouTube video about a Samsung dishwasher. We had this dishwasher exactly one year and nine days when it quit working on us. Sent out a trouble light that said there was a button error, which meant that it was nine days after the warranty was up. We called Samsung, didn't get a whole lot of help. Uh, it sat here for three months. We tried the unplugging, the re resetting the circuit breaker, all that, nothing ever worked. And so then I got on YouTube and started watching videos, took this out myself. There's plenty of videos on how to take it out, how to, to take it apart, so I'm not going to say any of that. But I took it out, took out the inside, cleaned it all out, started it again and got a new error, which was the heavy light saying there was a water leak. I went back online again, saw some new videos. This time they focused in on this water sensor right here. After taking off the side of the dishwasher and removing this, I took it off and decided that must be our problem. It cost $75 to replace it and my husband decided what we needed to do was try cleaning it out first. And if you look inside of here, you'll see all these little, little tunnels and things in here. Well, some of them were really clogged up with crud. So we worked at putting hot water in it. We let it soak with some bleach in it, various cleaners. It took me about a day. I hooked it all back up, started it again, and this time uh, it would con constantly run, whether it was turned on or not, trying to drain it, which again was saying it was a water leak. So I took this out again, unplugged the two wire type things that go into it, let it set all day until it completely dried out, plugged it back in, and today my dishwasher is running just fine and I am so excited after three months. So instead of trying to replace that piece for $75, maybe you should try cleaning it out first and getting your dishwasher back.